Welcome to Planet Coaster. In this video, we're going to run through how to create your own custom scenario. The scenario editor allows you to test your strategy and management skills by allowing you to create scenarios for you and other players to play and enjoy. The scenario editor enables you to play around with the various objectives, park research, demographics, finances, staff, and much more. So let's get started. Select Scenario Editor on the main menu, click the New Scenario button, and choose one of the biomes. Today, we'll be playing in Tropical. Give your park a name, select New, and let's jump on in. To create your own scenario, first of all, you need to build a park. Once your park is built, you are now ready to create your own custom scenario. Select the Custom Scenario button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. You will now be able to see the Scenario Editor panel. Let's start with the Objectives tab. The Objectives tab allows you to set targets and challenges. Remember, your scenario does not need to have objectives in order to be played. Objectives can be added to any of the three difficulty levels. Pick the corresponding difficulty star from the Add Objective menu. Each objective can be configured to provide a unique challenge. You can choose from various objective types from the drop-down list. This features numerous objectives for finances, guests, management and park. Select the objective type and customise it to your specifications. You can also add other conditions to many of the objectives to make them even more ambitious. To complete an objective, all of the specified conditions must be met. This can include completing objectives by a certain date or monthly profit target. Each objective can be individually edited or deleted by clicking the corresponding icons in their entry. The Park tab controls the size and operation parameters of your scenario. Park size, shape and spawn points allow you to edit the park boundary settings and position of the playable area for the scenario. You can also add more spawn points for guests. Opening times lets the player adjust the opening and closing time of the park, as well as the scenario start time. You can also allow or prevent altering the park's opening times during play. You can also set the scenario-wide breakdown rate. You can increase or decrease the breakdown rate, causing rides and roller coasters to suffer faster rates of wear and tear. Additionally, you can set the ride's age or set it to be broken down from the start of the scenario. Terrain editing can allow or prevent the player altering the way the park's terrain appears. This way you can challenge players to come up with clever solutions for the obstacles that you create. Remember that you can also prevent players from moving and deleting scenery objects like trees and rocks. Just select them and use the lock option. The cost for a player to change the terrain can also be increased and decreased or made entirely free. Park capacity can allow or prevent the player altering the park's maximum guest capacity. A lower capacity can create a greater challenge. Track restrictions give you the option to enable or disable any track restrictions put in place during the building of track rides. The Finances tab controls the cash flow and loans available within the scenario. The Funds option lets you set the amount of money the player starts with when first playing the scenario. There is no limit to the amount of money that you can spend while creating the scenario. You can also set the amount that is refunded via the refund multipliers. This dictates how much money the player gets back from demolishing objects. You can make any number of loans available to the player. You can also set up to three active loans that the player has to deal with from the beginning of the scenario. The Research tab allows you to set which rides are available for use and research. All objects in the game fall into three research tree categories. Unlocked, which is available from the start of the scenario. Researchable, which is available to unlock from research. And Unavailable, which is not available for research. Each item will only appear in one of the three lists. They can be moved to another by selecting it and pressing the Add Selection Here button beneath the target list. Items within the researchable list are normally available to research from the start of each new game. 
but by using the Nest Selected button at the top of the list, they can be locked behind another research item. Nested items only become available once the item immediately before them in the list is researched. The research presets let you pick from a list of predefined research trees for the easy, medium, hard and harder challenge modes. You can use these as a starting point for your own scenarios. The marketing tab controls which advertising campaigns are available during play. You can allow or prevent the player starting any marketing campaigns and set the maximum number of campaigns that may be run concurrently. The marketing campaigns available in the scenario must be selected from the available campaigns list. The staff tab determines how the different types of staff will behave in the scenario. The general staff settings apply to all staff types and make them harder or easier to keep them happy and productive. The staff type settings control the individual staff disciplines such as entertainer or janitor. Each of the disciplines may be customised to provide an additional challenge or to make the scenario easier for the player. The Guest tab controls which kinds of guests enter the park and the various guest traits. The Demographic controls the rate at which guests enter your park. How quickly they become unhappy can be adjusted as a percentage of their normal default rates. The Park Attractiveness graph represents how likely specific groups are to visit your park out of three demographics. Adults, teenagers and families. This graph can be adjusted to favour a specific group or remove one entirely. Demographic segregation allows you to decide the percentage of single or group attendance for adult and teenager groups in your park. The Guest Traits section of the window can be customised with a range of options. The Guest Traits slider determines the chance that a guest will spawn with a certain trait. The Presets option applies a global none, low, medium or high chance that guests will have certain traits. The Spawn Chance section allows more control over specific guest traits, such as Coast Ahead or Scaredy Cat. This allows you to add another additional challenge layer to your scenario. The Crime tab controls all theft and vandalism in the scenario. You have the ability to enable or disable the option for the player to change the security features. Each group that spawns into the park has the potential to be vandals, as determined by the Spawn Chance slider. Once the happiness of a vandal group falls below the vandal happiness threshold, they will seek to vandalise the park to regain happiness. Pickpockets will begin spawning into the park once the minimum number of guests are present, up to the maximum total number of pickpockets. The higher difficulty pickpockets run faster and longer, making them more able to evade the security guards. Security guards can also be set to be more or less likely to spot passing pickpockets by adjusting the spot chance multiplier. To save your scenario, select the cog in the top right hand corner of the screen and click Save Park. Then press Save Scenario. To play and share your scenario, return to the main menu, click Scenario Editor and select My Scenarios. You will be given the option to play scenario, edit scenario, upload to workshop or delete. So, what are you waiting for? Give it a go! Create your own scenarios and share them with the Planet Coaster community on the Steam Workshop.